The U.S. Libertarian Party calls for the decriminalization of all drugs in its party platform. Last month, the third party's 2016 presidential candidates explained their support for the policy at a Fox Business debate. I don't know how many of you were alive in the 50s, but you could buy opium in the form of paragoric off the shelf at any pharmacy in this country. There was no opium epidemic because it was, it was, it was available uh, legally. Absolutely not. Common sense. You know, if you were going and buying paragoric and your parents found out, you'd get a whipping, which is what they used to do in the 50s. Okay, so. So by saying we're going to legalize drugs, we're going to increase the consumption, absolutely not. The reverse usually happens. Why? Because children always want to do something which is a little bit bad, with all, something that's yeah, exciting. If it's legal and, and, and you see people buying it and you have heroin addicts on the street, what is the damage that they're doing to society? That's my question. The damage they're doing is to themselves. And the damage that we do is assuming that we know what's right for you. You're going to be a better person if you stop doing heroin. Because drugs are illegal, that they are so dangerous. We saw this with prohibition when they were making bathtub gin. If you knew what, what kind of dosages you were taking when it came to illegal drugs, you might know what the danger is. Drug dealers, thank you. Drug dealers don't check IDs. We've spent a trillion dollars on a no-win war on drugs. Uh, one of Nixon's aides just came out recently and said that the war on drugs was meant to crack down on hippies and black people. It's ridiculous. We've got to stop this. This is where we get the violence on the border. If you guys want to have a, a more secure border, then you've got to end the war on drugs. We will be a safer, freer nation. We've got an example out there with Zurich, Switzerland, where they made uh, free heroin available. Uh, you, had to, you had to register, but you got as much heroin you, as you wanted. The idea was, was to reduce death, disease, crime, and corruption. Uh, I met with the chief of police from Zurich, Switzerland, when he came to Albuquerque for a wor worldwide drug conference in 2002, and he said, when they came out with this program in Zurich, I and all of law enforcement could not have been more opposed to this. Death, disease, crime, and corruption was going to skyrocket. I'm here to tell you that all of those things improved, and the citizens of Zurich re-upped on this program. When you realize that only 8,000 people a year die from heroin overdose and people say well that's because it's illegal well gee whiz if it were legal if it were controlled meaning quality quantity known you might not have any death and people but people will still commit suicide doing anything while gary johnson led the libertarian party to its best election since 1980 with about one percent of the vote in 2012 the 2016 nominee has yet to be chosen. The Libertarians make their presidential and VP picks May 27th. Similarly, the U.S. Green Party chooses their nominees August 6th.